Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. I just want to start this video by saying sorry for not being here yesterday and uploading a video for 4th of July. I just didn't have a babysitter, so I wasn't able to make it. But we're here today. Uh, today's Tuesday, so it should be a new pin release day, which is always a good thing. And then uh, we're also going to look around the whole park, see if there's any new merchandise. And then if we have a chance to, we're going to finally ride Pirates of the Caribbean. Also, I forgot to mention that we have a reservation for Disneyland today. But I'm sure you guys figured that out once I said we're, we might be riding uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. But we're going to make line which doesn't look that bad today, and then we're gonna head inside the park. And about five minutes later, we got inside the park. Man, Mickey's looking a little rough right now. Look at that, a lot of green patches on his face. Man, it's such a beautiful day here in the park. Look at that, got the perfect clouds. Everybody looks happy right now. <laughs> but anyways, I think our first stop on this trip is gonna be the Emporium. All right guys, so we just got inside of the Emporium and look what is in stock. The new It's a Small World Launch Ride bag. Sadly, this is the only one in the store right now. Um, but Nick was telling me they have them at World of Disney. They do. They had a few, so they should have a lot left. Cool. But this bag's nice. I think it's the nicest one to come out so far. Because so far we've had the Space Mountain one. We've had the... Was it Mad Tea Party? And then Pirates of the Caribbean. And then now we have this one. Here's a look at the back of the bag. This bag's $85 in case you guys were wondering. And I'm really excited to see what the lining inside looks like. Here's a look at the lining inside. Wow, it's nice. Look at that. This is probably one of the nicest linings I've seen in a launch fly bag. So I'm not even kidding when I say like five minutes after I put this launch fly bag back, they restocked them. So if you guys are looking for them, they have them back at the Emporium. Hi guys. And then as I mentioned, it's Tuesday, which means new pin release day. And they have a lot of new pins today. So we're going to start with this one. They have this Funko Pop Dapper Dan pin. This one's $15.99. They have a Buzz Lightyear or Lightyear mystery box. This one's $24.99. And they have a Star Wars mystery box. $19.99. Then they have like the old like Kenner style pins. Got a Tuscan Raider, $17.99. And they have a Jawa. They have Star Wars 50 or 45th pin. Very cute. May the force be with you. That's cool. You can uncover like a hidden message. This pin is $17.99. And they have this one, the Millennium Falcon. Let's see, you got Obi-Wan, Luke, Han, and Chewbacca. This one's $17.99. And they have the new Tiki Room pin. $29.99. They have his two pack Star Wars pins. This one's $44.99 and it's limited to $3,100. And lastly, they have this jumbo Star Wars pin, which I think is probably the best one that got released today. This thing is huge. This one is $99.99 and it's limited to $15.50. Man, that was a lot of pins, but before we leave the Emporium, I have one more thing to show you guys. So they don't just have the uh, Tiki Room pin, they also have the Tiki Room plush. They just don't have the ears or the bag yet, but... They have basically half of the collection. This one's cool. This one's $34.99. And this one is Series 5 of 12. So we just finished with the Emporium, and now we're going to cross the street and head to 20th Century Music Company. So here at 20th Century Music Company, they basically have all the same things that they have in the Emporium, except for this one. The Emporium didn't have this one. It's Darth Vader and the TIE Fighter. This one's $17.99. But anyways, we ended up coming to Candy Palace and it looks like they have some new 4th of July treats, which I know it's 4th of July yesterday, but I'm gonna show it to you guys anyways. So these treats are gonna be uh, while supplies last. So if you guys are here and they happen to be here, make sure you grab one because they're not gonna be here for long. Uh, they have the cake pop for $5.49. They have the Rice Krispie treat for $6.49. And then they have the marshmallow one for $5.99. But besides that, that's basically everything new on Main Street as of today. So we just made our way to the Star Trader and check it out. They have a new 
Star Wars bucket hat. It's got Chewie and R2. Star Wars 1977. It's kind of cool. I like how it's like a faded red. Oh, and it's reversible. Uh, let me see how it looks on the inside. So it's black on the inside. And you got Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper. That's pretty cool. In case you guys are interested, this one's $34.99. So this is pretty cool too. Look, they have this new, like, I guess you could say like a hit pack. That's kind of cool. Like, this would be good for like a hike or stuff like that, you know, or perfect for the park too. This one's $34.99. They also have this new Greedo shirt, the 1977 Cantina Quick Draw. <laughs> this shirt retails for $24.99. It looks like sizes range from a small to a 2X. And they also have this pretty cool water bottle too. This one's $19.99. And then over here in the Pop Sockets, looks like they have a new one. I feel like I've never seen this stitch pop socket before I've seen this one but not this one this one $16.99 so before we do the Star Trader I just want to let you guys know that if you guys can't find those uh, cool like Star Wars jumbo pins and like the Emporium or 20th Century Music Company come to the Star Trader because they have them here as well alright guys but anyways we just got to Pirates of the Caribbean it looks like it's only a 10 minute wait so we're gonna wait in line for it uh, this is actually gonna be my first time getting on since they reopened it on Friday so I'm, I'm actually excited for this Dead men tell It feels so good in here. Toast to Paris and its many shine. Man, Pirates is such a good ride. Like, it's literally one of my favorite ones here at the park. And it's also a good ride to get on when it's really hot out. So, right now it's kind of warm out, but it did do the job for sure. Look who's out in Galaxy's Edge right now. Hey, Chewie. Hey. How's it going? Good to see you. So, we just got inside of Doc Ondar's, and there's nothing really new, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what lightsabers they have in stock. So, they have Asajj Ventress, they have Luminara, they have Luke, Leia. They have Reforce Skywalker, Rey, Ahsoka Tano, they got Cal Kestis, they got Ben Solo, Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, both Darth Maul, they have Palpatine, Count Dooku, and the Dark Saber. But that's basically it for Galaxy's Edge. I think now we're going to head back to Disneyland. Alright guys, but anyways, we just made it back to the hub. Looks like somebody lost a croc. <laughs> but anyways, I think I'm in the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.